Praise, praise the Lord, everybody. I'm Sock Pastor. And I have come to tell you something that is very, very important. I woke up this morning and I received a call from a young guy. And he was very, 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 very depressed. And when I asked why was he depressed, he said, sold and paid everything that I'm supposed to pay. And the testimony has not come. And I said, what are you paying for? Please, I, I don't understand. What, 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 you use the word pay. I need you to explain to me when you say pay, what do you mean? He said, I have paid a lot of pastors. I said, paid a lot of pastors? I don't understand. Is that in your Bible? What are you paying pastors for? He said, they always tell him to bring money. That right now, as he speaks to me, he's about to go and send 150 thousand naira to a pastor in nigeria i said for what he said because the pastor said he has to travel to the mountain and bring out the devil that is pursuing him and i'm like so you were about to go and pay and he's like yes pastor that this is just little that right now in the western union office they know my name because if you see my paycheck my pay release everything is all for pastors like they tell me to bring money and for one reason i just said oh my god i need to shoot a video on this issue now i'm going to ask you something and i want you to be very sincere with me you watching me right now why do you pay pastors for miracles mm, yes you where is it in the bible where where is it in the bible everywhere jesus went to and did miracles did you hear him tell them to bring money did you hear them when he was going to wake up the dead did you hear that did you hear him did you hear jesus say he should bring money where is it in the bible now let me tell you something i want you to understand it if you are doing anything out of the context of the bible you are wasting your time you're prolonging your testimony and you come here and begin to nag at my god when you are actually doing something that you're not supposed to do you're actually already paying for a miracle if my bible tells me that my my god is a jealous god you pay a pastor for miracles and you still call on god you should be calling the pastor's name not god you should be I am so upset because if you can imagine the sound of the guy. I even got angry with him. I said, well, that's your business because you're, you're so desperate. When you're desperate, you people do every kind of thing. You are so desperate. A lot of you looking for children. You give money and they take you to the stream and bait you. Where in the Bible do you see that? You're so desperate that you need promotion and they tell you that you need to pay money, you need to kill one chicken animal. Where in the Bible is it? When you do all those things, you covenant yourself with evil and your testimonies cannot come. Now I'm speaking to you today from my heart and I'm going to tell you something. If you involve yourself with all these fake pastors, your destiny will be tied down. What are you desperate about? 1,000 years, days. It's one day in the eyes of God. Have you spent 1,000 years? No. Then why are you paying for miracles? Why are you paying for testimonies? What is it that my God cannot do for you? A lot of you desperate women, you go out there and go and sleep with fake prophets, fake pastors, all in the name of wanting a child. And you come back to your house and your husband sleeps with you and his business begins to go down. And you start praying thunder and fire, pretending you don't know what you have done. All those things, there are consequences. I've heard a lot of things. I know of a girl that she cleared her account for a prophet. And after paying playing her account he never picks her call till today she's not married my God, crying out loud single girls what are you paying for what are you paying for just to be married you pay a pastor he tells you want to pray for you and he tells you bring hundred and fifty thousand naira you will get a hundred and fifty thousand naira husband who will beat you up black and blue now let me tell you something i'm going to be telling like ah how can you be just, how can you be this gullible just because you are desperate? Just because I can imagine all, I, I, everywhere that I go to and people are talking to me, they tell me they're fake pastors in Nigeria for their permanent stay, for their green card. 
in the rules and regulation even in the country where you are was there anything like you paying pastors for your residence stay that is why you have not gotten it that is why you have not gotten it. any pastor that you are speaking with and he tells you well you have to bring so 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 money instantly rebuke him he's of the devil i've said and i know you will find the facts about your life and face god and if you have learned something join me in sharing this around the world so that nobody will become a victim and all those fake pastors they will go and get their degree and start working or doing something for themselves if this video has really touched you i also i want you to touch the like button press the like button and share it it will get to someone that is just about to send money to one